Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about metal that I just bought, which melts at room temperature. As you can see here, I bought 100 grams of gallium metal. And uh, in this summer weather, it's completed, mel completely melted. So one of the first things I wanted to show you with it is how to grow gallium metal crystals. Um, so I poured some of it in this metal lid, as you can see here, and I'm cooling it in some ice water. And these things are basically growing before my eyes. You can see these beautiful uh, crystals of gallium that are growing here. Let me show you these more closely. There they are. They're starting to grow as the ice cools the liquid gallium in this metal lid. It's still mostly liquid, but these have taken about, basically about less than five minutes to grow. So one of the things I want to do with this is do some time-lapse photography to just get to see this uh, sped up. See they have interesting formations as you can see there and uh, it's continuing to slowly solidify into these crystal formations. Now another thing I wanted to do with it is to see what the effect of a neodymium magnet would be on this liquid. Now I know that it's it's not certainly not ferromagnetic but you can induce currents in the liquid form of the metal and cause the metal to flow by moving a neodymium magnet uh, past it. As you can see, look at these crystals, they're getting much bigger. So let's, let's do this next experiment with a uh, diametrically uh, uh, polarized ne neodymium magnet. There it is. I put it on the end of a uh, mechanical screwdriver and I'm going to see what effect it has on the liquid metal. Okay, here's the gallium metal again and here's my um, magnet. And let's see what happens when we put this near the metal. We need to get this magnet rotating. It's a bit noisy, but let's see what happens. So what you're seeing there is motion of that liquid, not because it's it's magnetic in and of itself, because but because it has induced currents in it that oppose the rotating magnet and cause it to move. Anyway, I um, hope you enjoy that and thanks for watching. I'm going to do some more experiments with this metal and we'll be happy to show you some other properties of it down the road.